Yeah, hi there. And uh, these comments are for uh, Pratik. And you completed uh, independent speaking practice test number three at my website. I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the Seven Step System to pass a TOEFL IBT. So first of all, uh, let's take a look at what this particular question is, what you're being asked to speak about before we listen to it. Okay, this is a tough one. Nobody wants to talk about this, but it says, upon your death, what valuable object or material possession would you consider giving to a friend or family member? Why would you want your friend or family member to inherit this object? So this is a very specific question. It's focusing on one specific thing to one specific person. So you have to make sure you're not talking generally about a whole bunch of things you own, about a whole bunch of family members or friends. You have to pick one object and then one person. All right, so you say... Upon my death, I wish my diary of inspirational report will be given to my family member because it has the answers on how to live and how to face problems in life. My diary is a collection of quotes given by good philosophers and other successful persons. Okay. When I'm getting upset or being nervous in my life, I used to read it. It inspired me to give up all the problems and nervousness and fill up me with great energy. So, I wish my family member also used this diary when they need it. I wished... I wish that my family member, you might say, I wish that my family member have this gift. But here's a question. Number one, which family member is it? Is this your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, your mother, your father? Is this a son or a daughter? Specifically, who is this that you'd want to give this object to? Now, the question is, you talked about what the object meant to you but why do you want to give this to your friend or family member? I don't think that you really focus enough on that part of the question, I think, to really do a satisfactory job when it comes to topic development. So I think that your response was weak in that it failed to address that second part of the question. All right, so let me take a look at the uh, rubrics here for just a minute. Give you some more comments here. So. Uh, if we take a look at the IBT rubrics, and I will have a link to them uh, in the discussion thread when I'm putting the link uh, to this video, I think you're going to score in the two range here. So delivery, you're speaking fairly quickly, but there are words in there um, having trouble understanding. So you still need to, you need to keep working on your pronunciation. Uh, I would keep going through those lessons in the pronunciation area of my course. Uh, I think language use, I didn't notice any major problems there other than you might have had some problems with the I wish. I wish that my friend would have this gift. Or I would like my friend to have this, this uh, object because. So sometimes you weren't exactly sure how to explain that. I think using the correct or the appropriate grammar structures. Topic development, you failed to really address why you would want your friend or family member to have it. And you weren't very specific as to, as to which family member you'd want this object, you want this uh, person to have. All right, so I'm going to put you at about two point, a little bit under 2.3. I'm going to put you at 2.1 out of 4, 17 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. All righty, keep up the good work.